Ned's chessboard. Now, most of you must be aware of that iconic scene that happened in Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, but do you guys actually know what that position looked like on the board? So, this position was actually formulated by the American IM Jeremy Silman, and credits to him as well for helping out the movie producers. So, this was the position on the board. So, Harry, Ron, and Hermione they were all playing black against you could say Voldemort uh, who was playing white at the stage and even though white has his queen you can see that white's king is in a lot of trouble but then uh, although white's king doesn't look safe Ron had a lot of things to consider because in this position you can see that Ron was playing this knight while Hermione was his rook and Harry was playing this bishop so, in order for Ron to win this match, he not only had to checkmate the White King, he had to make sure that these two pieces were on the board as well, because ultimately they are Hermione and Harry. So, if you want, you can try to pause the video and try to figure out the move. As you can see, Ron has to consider these constraints as well, where he cannot sacrifice these two pieces. Over here it was white to play and white took this pawn. So the move over here by black was rook c3. So obviously black had to do something in order to defend Harry. And once the white queen took the rook, now the bishop has room over here for this diagonal. So now the next move was Ron's big sacrifice that we witnessed in the movies which was knight h3 check because now the king has nowhere to go and Ron basically sacrificed himself and after queen captures knight it was, uh, it was all up to Harry to checkmate the king which was obviously bishop c5 check and obviously the king would have to go to e3 and then we have bishop into e3 checkmate so now this was what actually happened on the board in the famous movie Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Hope you'll enjoy that one. Please do like and subscribe. And actually let me know in the comments if you want me to unravel any other chess plots or scenes that happened in famous movies. I'll definitely check them out. Thank you.